All right, well today I wanted to talk about how to not get used by women in bars and clubs. This video will be mostly aimed at average looking or below average looking men, but really this applies to pretty much the vast majority of men in a wide variety of cases. When women go out to bars and clubs, a lot of them will use guys that they aren't attracted to for free drinks and free tables and giving very little if nothing in return. When I had turned 21, I was very new to the bar scene and I was also pretty overweight and balding, and I was a fat, bald, petrucent sub-5 male at the time, so I definitely was a perfect target for women that wanted free drinks. I remember two occasions in particular where I fell victim to giving girls free drinks. There was one time I was standing at the bar with my dick in my hand, waiting for a drink, and these two girls walked up, and one of them said, Hey, how's it going? Uh, you should buy us drinks. At this time, I thought, oh, wow, these girls really want to talk to me. Wow. So I asked them what they wanted, and I think they said margaritas at the time. So I bought them these margaritas, and we were talking for about 30 seconds until another random girl, like, pulled them away. Just, like, whisked them away. And then uh, to sit down in their section. At the time, I thought I got cock-blocked by this other girl. But to be honest, they were simply going to walk away any walk away soon anyway. And the friend just sped up the process and saw a fat balding sub five male giving them drinks and then trying to talk with them. This is definitely a freaking occurrence as a sub five or average looking guy that you're just going to experience in a bar or club. When women pull their girlfriends away from you, they have looked over they've looked over at you and assumed that the girl either probably doesn't want to talk to you, or they may see a, like a signal on her face that shows that she wants to exit that conversation with you. And I can say that after looks maxing, I can only remember in the past seven years, maybe one or two times when a girl has pulled her friend away from me, but it happened super frequently when I was fat and balding. There was another time when I was about 23, when I was still losing a lot of the weight, when I struck up a conversation with just these other two girls sitting at, a, sitting at the bar at my new university. And the conversation was kind of stalling out. I still had somewhat of a double chin and like semi bloated face. It wasn't as bad as, um, you know, a year or two prior. Uh, but I remember the girl saying, you should buy me. I remember the one girl saying like, you should buy me a drink. And I was about to buy her a drink. Um, when she then say, Oh, can you buy hers too? And she pointed to the girl that was sitting next to her on the left. And when I heard this, you know, something, I was still pretty naive back then. I was 23. Something registered in my head from, you know, two years prior. And um, I basically just told her, no, I'm just going to get you one. And I remember her trying to like, really persist, you know, that I should get her one too. And then I just, I just ended up walking away. <laughs> but to try and avoid this, you definitely shouldn't buy drinks for girls for one that ask you to buy them drinks. If a girl walks right up to you or you're standing by the bar and she just casually asks you to buy her a drink. She's definitely just using you and doesn't find you attractive in almost all cases. Simply say no and she'll buzz right off and try to find some other guy she's not attracted to to ask. And over the years, I've also seen a lot of other guys. What they'll do is they'll uh, buy a round of shots for a group of girls and the girls will take the shots real quick. Uh, maybe talk to the guy for about a minute and then they'll walk away to like another part of the bar or you know leave the bar entirely. I would say from experience, the only time you really want to buy a girl a drink that you just met at a bar is when you're having a really good conversation where there's like mutual interest and clear flirting going on between the two of you. And honestly, if there's mutual interest and flirting going on, you won't even need to buy her a drink, but it doesn't hurt because at least you have clear signals that she's interested in you. If a girl is really into you, She's not even going to want you to buy her a drink from my experience. Like she would rather get a drink herself and give more of a good, you know, give you a good first impression. And don't get me wrong. Like that same girl may want you to buy her drinks on the first date, uh, but not necessarily when you are just meeting her. And there's nothing worse than I think spending your whole cold, hard cash on a drink for a girl who has zero interest in you. It's just not worth it. You know, your time would be better spent talking with your good friends and joking around at the bar, or just saving your money altogether and not going out. There's, there's no, I mean, there's a lot of worse feelings out there, but I think, you know, for, for some guys, um, you know, it takes courage to walk up to a girl and, 
you know, ask them to buy a drink and they spend their cold hard money just to get, just to get used. And I think for me, like one of the worst feelings in the world is to feel like you're being used. In nightclubs, it's a similar story, but way more costly. When you buy a table at a nightclub, there will be some girls that will try to sit down at your table solely just to drink your alcohol. Like these types of girls, what they'll do is they'll walk up to tables, act super friendly, they'll drink the alcohol, and once the bottle is gone, they're going to bounce. Like they're going to bounce to the next table, do the same thing to those guys um, until they find a guy that they find really attractive. If they find a, a, you or a, another guy really attractive, um, they may not do that. They may just sit down and you know flirt with you or flirt with that other guy and you know go home with you or go home with them. For guys that they're not attracted to, they're basically just going to sit down, act super fake and friendly and just, you know, drink the bottle and then bounce from table to table to table. You really see this in like cities like Miami, Las Vegas. I mean, really not even those cities, but really any city in general, you're going to see this happen a lot. Ideally, what you should do is bring girls that you know already like you to your table. So this could be like a match from a dating app or a girl that you know from your social circle that likes you and not just the it likes you it likes you for you uh, and not just the bottle or the table. You know, if girls walk up to your table and ask you if they can sit down and drink, it's probably not the best idea. You, you what you can do is you can kind of gauge if they're attracted to you in that moment. You know, you can tell them to sit down, you can start talking to them and you can kind of compare you know, how they're talking to you, how they're looking at you to the genuine attraction that you've gotten in the past from women. So when they sit down at the table or if they approach you, you know, are they maintaining shy, strong eye contact with you? Are they playing with their hair? Are their pupils dilated? Are they touching you? If they're doing those things, they could, they could be faking it, but they could also have some genuine attraction to you. But if they're not doing those things, if they're just kind of sitting on their phone, you know, you know, taking Snapchat stories or Instagram stories, and they f they seem very fixated with you know the 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 bottle, or they they're you know standing up on the table and dancing. You know, they're they're probably <laughs> they're probably not into you. And you know what what you can do what you what you do there in those those you know situations is there's a couple things you can do. You know, like as they're probably just using you for the bottle and a place to rest because they're in heels. And if you get the sense that they're using you for drinks, you, know, you can just tell them to leave. You don't have to be super rude about it. You can say something like, "Hey, we have we have some girls coming in a few minutes. They're they're about to get here. It was good meeting you guys," or something something like that. You know, if they if they're getting rude, then you can you know tell them in a more firm tone that they need to leave. But that's kind of how I'd handle it. Definitely, you know, one of the guys should be pouring the drinks. You know, don't let them pour the drinks. Don't let them like, you know, drink out of the bottle. Like that's how, you know, they they sucked out all your alcohol really, really quick. And if you want to find girls in the club that are genuinely attracted to you um, to hang out with, you know, you'll need to leave the table and approach women by the bar and strike up some conversations and then gauge their interest from there. Uh, you never want to open with, that you have a table because in my experience, that's just inviting a girl who may not be into you and they may kind of act like they're into you for those, uh, those first five minutes so they can sit down, you know, take their heels off and then start drinking the bottle and then bouncing after you, you kind of want to open with open up, introduce yourself, you know, strike up casual conversations by the bar or the dance floor. And then if you feel that you guys are connecting, if you can see that she's genuinely attracted to you, then you can say, Hey, we have a table. Like, let's go, let's go sit down and talk more. And, you know, I, I bring this up because I've been on both sides of the bottle service experience when I was in my younger twenties and overweight and balding. I was definitely part of a table that got used and abused uh, by the bottle rats. And I've also been on the side where a, a girl is at the table be because she does have genuine interest. Uh, she did have genuine interest in me and didn't even take, you know, one sip of you know, the bottle that we have. So I've seen it kind of both ways. And at the end of the day, you know, trying to use these tips to avoid being taken advantage of by women in bars and clubs you follow these tips, you know, this isn't, you know, foolproof, but this will probably end up saving you some money, you know, in the long run. And I, at least I hope it does. Well, if you've enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a like.
feel free to comment down below any experience you have and feel free to subscribe. Until next time, take care.